Okay, Cancers, the overall energy of this reading is the Knight of Swords. Fast moving energy. Got your sword up, self protection, clarity, truth, rushing forward. Let's find out why. Up here in your highest energy, the world card. You're rushing forward right into a new life cycle. And it's, it feels like you have the control. You're the one that's deciding to do this. And so you're entering a new life cycle. We have beautiful, nice card. It's right next to the Four of Cups. There's somebody you're setting free. There's somebody who you are rushing forward. You're getting out of one life cycle and you're entering another because you're not accepting this cup of love anymore. So you're moving from one life cycle into another. It's intentional and um, it's because you have a sword of truth and clarity and you are very clear that this is what you want to do. The Four of Cups is right next to the Nine of Cups. So you took all this love that you have and you put it on a shelf behind you and you're just happily guarding it until the right person comes along. You have lots of love. You have lots of love to share with someone. But you don't want to share it with whoever you're moving away from, but you're moving towards another life cycle. So whether that's towards somebody else or whether that's just you know, you, for, towards your own happiness, but it's without somebody. So, under the world card is the Ten of Swords. This is why. So you're kind of like gonna rushing in. You're gonna cutting out all this pain. That you're like, you're done with it. You're so done. And this is what's causing you to decide to move forward so fast. So, the Ten of Swords, that, that's a, it's really not that bad. It's It's like... Okay, there, there's pain, there was hurt, might have been over and over and over again, um, but there's no eleven of swords. So these swords are going to start to fall off, and I think you're just going to rush in and just slice them all off, is what you're going to do with this knight of swords, with your truth and clarity. It's a fierce card. On the other side of the knight of swords is a four of swords, right under this nine of cups. This is meditation prayer. This is seeking advice from the universe. It's very spiritual. You spent time alone. You have, you know, prayed, meditated for advice on moving forward here. And um, this is how, another how you came to this decision to go ahead and move forward in your life. Truth, clarity, this is what came to you in this time that you spent alone in meditation. Under the Ten of Swords is the Three of Wands. So there we are. There we are, looking out over the ocean, holding staffs of new beginning. And one, there's three ships out here. One, two, three. Looking, waiting, and watching for your ship to come in. So you know that this, whoever this is is not your ship. You just th you think they're still out there someplace. And so this is the energy, this is the new life cycle kind of that you're getting into. And I'm really curious to find out where this leads. Under the Knight of Swords, you're also cutting out this energy of confusion, of the stability and security. I mean, it's like one day you felt secure in this relationship and the next day you feel insecure. And I think that's part of this reason of the Ten of Swords here. But you're cutting it out, you're moving away from it. It's right next to the Knight of Swords. You're cutting out these love offers. You're cutting out the pain. You're cutting out the healing. You're done. You're moving forward. So, on the other side of the two of pentacles is the three of pentacles. There, there was probably somebody or some energy or something that was interfering in this relationship that you're just done with. Okay? Um, this is a black card, the three of pentacles, butting heads, not seeing eye to eye, or it can be a third party. Could be, when I say third party, it could be a mother, a child, it could be anybody, a friend, uh, anybody could, that could have been interfering in this relationship, or it could be a, a substance, you know, like an addiction of some sort. But something was there. Something was present in this relationship that you had to let go. Wow. Let's take out the second half of this relationship. I said the second half of this relationship, didn't I? 
I meant the second half of this reading. Sometimes I wonder about myself. Because <laughs> I'm really like focused. I get, uh, I get into these readings. <laughs> okay. Up here in your highest energy, the Ten of Pentacles. This is security, stability, groundedness. This is a traditional type um, relationship. There is a union of two people. There's two dogs. There's a child. There's extended family. And look, under one roof. And there's a lot of security, stability. This is like marriage. Um, really grounded energy. It's right next to the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords is that truth and that clarity that you're running, rushing forward with. I feel like there's a conversation about this with someone. It might be with yourself because you're doing a lot of healing. It might be one of these swords from the Four of Swords. Let me read on. Next to the Ace of Swords, I see you just moving forward. Away from rocky waters. Towards smoother, calmer, more peaceful waters. That's what you're doing. And you're taking all these swords of truth with you. All these swords of clarity. It's right next to the Ace of Swords. That's really important in this reading. Your truth. This is what's helping to move you forward. It's it has it's not like this boat does not have a motor. It's being pushed along by a pole. So it was kind of a lot of work uh, moving forward here, but you're doing it. I think this is what you have on your mind, this Ten of Pentacles. I don't think you were getting that out of this other relationship that you're moving forward from. I think this Ten of Pentacles is part of your new life cycle. I think it's coming up. And I think that's part of your peaceful waters up here that you're moving towards. This is what you want. And under that Ten of Pentacles is the Nine of Pentacles. It's not that you have to have somebody in your life. You want. You want to share your life with somebody. You have a lot of love to share here, and it would be really nice if you could. Um, the Knight of Pentacles is um, uh, being self-confident, self-assured, secure and stable in yourself. That's a lovely card. This is uh, a lot of times Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn might be strong in your chart or around this reading. I feel like you're very uh, fine on your own. But you would like somebody to share all this love with. You're not settling for just anyone. So next to the Nine of Pentacles is the Nine of Swords. This is under the Ace of Swords. That's all that truth, all that clarity. I think it came from all this healing, all these thoughts going through your head. All this clarity, man. So this time you spent alone, um, it, it was, you know, it was like almost fighting certain thoughts. And it, it actually, it, it was like figuring it out, okay? Figuring the whole thing out, this relationship that caused the Ten of Swords. And you finally figured it out through all this healing that you were doing with the Four of Swords. It's right under that Ace of Swords, all that truth and all that clarity that's helping to move you forward. You're moving forward from this Tower energy, this, this was hard. This looks like it was very difficult for you to come to this decision that this is the best thing for you to do. Um, that's what I see in the Nine of Swords. But you are moving forward from it. It was a hard journey to even get to the point of knowing that's what you wanted to do. But once you figured that out, there you go. You're just like off and running. Under the Nine of Pentacles is the Four of Pentacles. This is like knowing... This is being stuck or staying put, so to speak, in this energy of being self-confident and self-secure. This is you. And you're going to hold, stay by yourself. You're Not stay by yourself, but you're going to stand uh, with yourself, okay, on um, holding true to yourself. And this is who you are. So you're, you're waiting. You're waiting for your ship to come in over here. You're ready to move forward in a very swift manner, if at all possible. This Four of Pentacles is right next to that Six of Pentacles. This is part of what you know you had to realize here, and all these thoughts and all this truth and all this clarity. was well, you were being breadcrumbed in this relationship, your scales were being thrown off balance. See, this figure is just feeding breadcrumbs to this one figure. 
and not to the other one. It's like you were putting work into this relationship and they were not putting the work into this relationship. So that wasn't working out at all. Please excuse the truck going by out there. So next to the Six of Pentacles is the Magician. Now, this is nice. Um, you have some really nice things happening here. You're really taking control of your life is what you're doing. That is the whole point of this reading. Okay, Magician got the Infinity Symbol above the head of this figure. That Infinity Symbol is all about knowing and intuition. So it's like you, you figure out, like we already said, you got the truth, you got the clarity, you know what you need to do now, and you have all the tools to do it. Nine of Pentacles has all the tools to do that. You probably do have some, maybe have some Earth in your chart, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. But whether you do or not, Cancers, you have a giant cup of love. You have a pentacle for security and stability. You have a staff of new beginnings. And you have a sword of truth and clarity. And this is enabling you to do the things that you need to do to move forward in, in, in your life into a new life cycle. You knew there was going to be a tower moment. You, once you figured all this out, you knew there'd have to be. And there is so that you can move forward. <laughs> 